Hello, BCom students. You have not made your presentation, so I'm making this presentation using the same software that you will use to make your presentation. And I'm going to go over some stuff for you to answer some of your questions. I know that one student that, that uh, is receiving this had a question, and I referred them back to the syllabus. Uh, but I thought it would just be easier to give everybody who has not turned in their presentation this quick little tutorial to make sure that you've covered it. So I'm going to click on Screencast-O-Matic now. When I started Screencast-O-Matic, I told the system that I wanted to use both the ability to record the background and my video. And that option is to the far right hand side of the initial screencast o matic screen. You're going to have to download it, and I'll explain how to do that in just a second. All this information is already in Blackboard, but I just thought I'd make sure you know where it was just to give you the chance to get this done because it is worth 100 points. That's 10% of your grade. It'll keep you from getting an A in the class if you don't do this, so let's jump into it. Where you're going to go is to Presentation Instructions. If you click on that, you can download the instructions and print it out, but you can also look at instructions here. Basically, your elevator pit pitch needs to be uh, recorded with Screencast-O-Matic. I don't care if you use Screencast-O-Matic or any recording, I just need to be able to view it. So if you're using a Mac, I can still use that. If you're using uh, a PC, you can record it directly to YouTube if you wanted to or whatever else. You don't have to use the software, but the software is free and it's pretty easy to use. But again, that's up to you. I just need to make sure that I can see the background like this because you're going to be putting together some PowerPoints or any kind of visual aid you want to do, Prezi, I don't care if you type it out on a Word document and just you know go to different pages, I just need to see that you understand how to do a presentation. And you're also going to be doing your um, 30 second, I really shouldn't say 30 second, you're going to be doing your elevator pitch, which it could be up to a couple of minutes, depending on how much information you have. But here are the instructions right here in your class. This is uh, this is your class base. So you'd go down from to presentation instructions, and here you go. I've each of these elements is worth 10 points. So I'm going to add, I'm going to review your introduction and basically that should be your your elevator pitch there's three questions down here that I want you to pick from and answer them in an in an, in your video and that should be basically uh, you know this is kind of like an interview type of an, a, a video one thing I think I would steer away from if I were you guys is what's your greatest weakness that's a tough one, and I wouldn't give that to anybody. Uh, I, I wouldn't voluntary, voluntarily answer that question. So if I were you, I would turn this to what you consider your greatest strength. I think that's much more positive, but all the other ones are okay questions to answer. But again, follow the instructions. I have, I have laid this out. The last thing I want you to do to close your, your video is to thank me to let me know that you're going to be a great asset to me as I'm my employee, that we're going to, you're going to get along to what, well in the group, that you want to grow with the name of the company that you're interviewing for, and you want to ask for the job, something like, I really want this job. Can I have the job? I can start on Monday. And one of my students this semester, one of your classmates, changed it up a little bit, and she said, I would love to start on Monday can I have the job and smiled, which I think is probably even better because that's the last question that a potential employer has to answer. If you're afraid of answer asking this question, don't be, we'll talk about it during your mock interview, but this is how you, this is how you do it as far as your interview, uh, as far as your presentation. 
And the presentation shouldn't be more than five or six minutes. If you go over six minutes, I'm just going to stop it because i got a million of these things to review. Uh, it's okay if, if you do three to five minutes. That's fantastic. If you do less than three, you're probably not putting enough information in there. If you do more than five, it's probably too much. You know, Five minutes is a sweet spot. Okay. Now, I've, I, I've showed you where the instructions are. There are also uh, 30 second more instructions, okay? And, it, and, I, and I show you how I'm rating these things. And then there are videos that you link out to to hear my oh, boring self with my goatee there. Uh, so there's no reason why any of you should have any questions about, well, I don't understand, because there's more than enough information here. When you do your video, it's going to ask you if you want to, and I'm going to revert back to just the main screen here, it's going to ask you, do you want to save your video, if you're using Screencast-O-Matic, or do you want to put it on YouTube? It's better to, if you have a fast internet connection back and forth, it's better just to go ahead and save the video uh, to your computer and then download it into Blackboard. But if you don't, it would probably be better if you use Screencast-O-Matic and send the video off to YouTube and then just give me the link. I'll leave that up to you because it, it could be time consuming if you, if you record your video and then put that video into Blackboard. A lot of people have done it, and it seems to be a little bit faster, and I've increased my internet, con internet connection, so I don't have to wait for those things to download. But you would have a hard time, unless you've got a faster internet connection, to download your video from your computer into Blackboard. It could take up to 10 minutes, so just be aware of that. Okay, I hope, oh, one more thing I should show you. Here's where you post your, your videos, all right? So you click here, and then you can attach a file you know don't write a submission you can leave me a comment if you want to but you don't put your information here you do it here whether you browse your computer and heck, I'll just show you oh there's some pretty pictures of my daughter's wedding uh, you would actually find your video file and then just open it and it, it would automatically start downloading um, now the only Thing you're going to do if you are sending me the link is you write the submission and then just copy and paste the link to uh, YouTube here with a little blurb that you I think the class is fantastic. All right, so I won't uh, I won't save that. So uh, this should explain everything you need to do to get ready for your presentation. Uh, either you guys not have not looked on the left hand side of Blackboard and seen where all this stuff is and maybe that's a problem so let me go back and make sure that you understand that sometimes this window gets lost so if you if if there is a blue bar over here and you don't see anything else to the left and you're a little lost if you click on that blue bar it'll open up the the left hand uh, information screen so you can click on everything. I mean, that's how you get to the uh, all the information, you know, the lessons. So hopefully you haven't, I mean, you, hopefully you've been able to get there, but just in case you haven't. Okay, I've talked too long. I am here to help you be successful. And if you're going to send me an email that says, well, I don't understand where this is, it, where this is, can you, you know, can you show me um, I've already done that. If you still don't understand it, man, just call me from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. seven days a week. Maybe on Sunday, give me till one because that's my day off, basically. You can call me or text me. Probably text is the way you want to start off with. And if I want to call you, I will. Because to me, sending an email or sending a text is more time consuming than just taking five minutes to walk you through stuff. If you do text me, make sure that you're at your computer. So I'm going to say, all right, here's where you need to go. Here's what you need to do. Follow this instruction. That way we're not wasting time when I call you. Oh, my computer's not up. Well, then make sure it is if you're, if you're going to text me and all that kind of good stuff. Okay. 
Um, this is worth 100 points. It should not be that big of a deal. If you worry because you don't sound good on camera or you, you don't know how to get a PowerPoint together, well, guess what? Step out of your comfort zone and you're going to have to put effort into this. But once you do, as long as I see you have effort into it, I'll replace the zero that you have right now and give you a grade. This is not an excuse to give you a bad grade. As a matter of fact, it's just the opposite. Most people that try and have a PowerPoint and do a good job on their, their presentation and their answers to the questions and everything do very well. Uh, for the people who don't do it like yourselves, you either get a zero or if they just do half of it, like they just put a PowerPoint together but they don't do the video, or they do a video but there's not a PowerPoint underneath the video as they're explaining what they want to do, then you know your your grade suffers. Uh, seriously, call me, text me, call me if you need me. I am here to help. I want you to be successful. Last thing, if you haven't done this, you're probably hesitant to do your interview. Let me tell you, the interview is the best thing about the class. I'm going to reveal to you what I charge my clients 10% of their first year's salary. And by the way, these aren't people that make $2,000 a, 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 a year. These are people that make $200,000 a year. So you're getting for the cost of this class what other people pay thousands of dollars for. Trust me, it is worth it. I'm going to change your life as far as the way you look at interviews and how to be successful, not only in an interview, but how to negotiate your salary afterwards. Do not miss this opportunity. And again, that's worth another 100 points. So make sure that if, you're, if you haven't scheduled your interview, that you send me an email. I've sent multiple emails out. Pick a date. Let's, let's get that taken care of because I believe it's the best thing about the class and I know it will help you be successful in the future. Okay, now I'm really over my time. Have a great day. Bye.